Hey Dino. In today's unboxing, we'll open the box of the Emotiva C2 center speaker. So, thanks to the guys at Emotiva New Zealand. Lending us this and allowing us to open this brand new box. Um, as usual, Emotiva is um, engineered and designed in the US. It's made in China. There's very few speakers that are not made in China. There's the high range Elax and the Focals are made. The Elax in Germany, Focals in France. But other than that, a lot of speakers these days are made in China. Probably the BMWs as well, there's some, some brands. Oh, very nice. And the manual, there's a uh, full pad, soft pad to put on the bottom of the, of the center speaker. I'll leave that here for a second. Oh, gosh, styrofoam. Sustainability, sustainable packaging is uh, something that speaker manufacturers still can improve on, I think. There we go. I'm just gonna. You'll see the back first, for no particular reason. It's just how it turns out. It's interesting because on my side, I can see the the grill, but it's a bit loose. Probably magnetic, but because of, of the weight or the direction that it's on, the, it doesn't really st stick to the to the speaker. It's an interesting design. Um, you either like it or don't like it with the sort of edgy sort of finish around the drivers, isn't it? Um, I think I need to turn it around because you can see it has to go that way. And it's it's magnetic, which is pretty cool. It's quite nice. Yeah. One, two, three, four drivers and a tweeter. It's a pretty impressive center speaker. And at the back, as you probably have seen already, it is ported. Two ports, four binding posts, but they're interconnected, which is pretty cool. So. Um, yeah, nice finish. Again, just like the bookshelves in the other video and the floor stands, this finish, uh, you, you know, it feels like leathery. It has a bit of a leathery grain to it. Um, even though it is plastic, it looks really, really nice. It looks really, really nice. But it's pretty heavy. It's not white and quite, quite big. But it's mainly the design. The design is something 80s sci-fi futuristic, isn't it? So you you may not like it as far as it looks, but great brand, good good reviews. Um, specs. Let's talk talk specs. Do you know what are the specs of this this speaker? So we're looking at power handling of 150 watts. 150 max. And, no, that's continuous. Okay. And 300 watts max. Wow. Uh, peak power. Impedance is four ohms. Four, not eight. Yeah, no, Interesting, not because eight. the bookshelf's are eight. Yeah, mm. so a slight difference there, mm. um, which you might want to be aware of in your own Yeah, receiver. you do. You do. Uh, frequency response is 45 hertz to 28,000 hertz. Okay. 28 kilohertz. Yeah. Plus or minus 3 dB. Yeah. Sensitivity at 92 dB. Oh, that's loud. 92 yeah. dB. That's yeah. pretty loud. So uh, she can definitely give out the power. Yeah, it's good sensor in. Yeah. It's a sensor speaker, sorry. So yeah. she weighs in at 36.1 pounds, which is uh, not yeah, about too 18, bad. 18, 20 kg. Not too bad for a sensor speaker, so she's not going to move and yeah. playing the, the, the voice for her. Very nice. Okay.